there guys, it's AG Doll Hunter here and welcome to my channel. This is my first video, so I thought what better way than to just dive straight into the doll hunting. Um, so this is my first haul, well not, not specifically a haul, but just a product review. And this is the product. So it is Marilyn's Living Room Set. Um, and it is from, of course, Marilyn's Be Forever line. Um, and as you can see, it is really quite nice. It's got a, it comes in a really big box, to be frank with you. So I've got it pushed back quite far away. Um, and I had actually gotten it on sale for only $35, which for American Girl accessories is really, really quite good. Um, but anyways, let's just get into the product and we can discuss the price and my opinion afterwards so let's dive in all right guys as i had told you it is really quite a big box i mean not as big as some of the american girls other things but it is a pretty good box for just merely a living room set but i do like that because it does look sturdy and it looks like they took enough a lot of time um packaging it and whatnot so let's just simply dive in um, so I got this at the Indigo that is near my house, um, but you could get this at American Girl as well. So just sliding off this kind of film from it, uh, just on the film, it's really quite flimsy. It's merely just to protect the box, um, but it does have a, a very small picture of what the accessories inside are supposed to look like and it does have its for sale tag so again I did get it for $35 um, however they had a sale beforehand that said it was for $58 which is merely just covered right underneath there's just some sticker right underneath the sticker that is above um, and when I had turned it to the side it came out as a whopping 74 Person there, which is really really crazy because I got what 40 something 30 something off of it, which is really quite crazy. But th that also means that it didn't sell very well, and I wonder if her sofa set sold well or not. Right? Um, as this living room set obviously goes with the sofa set, but, anyways, putting that aside, let's just dive right into unboxing it. Again, very cute packaging. Got the custom American Girl uh, feel to it. So when you open it up, again, here it says Marilyn's living room set. Uh, open it up, it's got a little bit of a tab. You open it. And the first thing you can see is it's got two flaps, like any other box. And here it is. So, it comes with an instruction set that, if I can hold that tab back, that just talks about her living room set, and it just merely says, um, adult assembly is required, tool required for battery installation, and it tells you what type of tool, and whatnot, and it requires um, batteries as well, that are included. So the only thing that's not included in the set is the actual um is the actual screwdriver and furthermore furthermore it goes into like the components and how the lab works because if you guys do not know the lab does light up so that's this little set well not set but instruction manual um next is the actual product itself, which is fairly big to be honest. I did not realize that it was so, so big. So I'm just gonna move that back a bit and hopefully we'll get a very good view on that. All right, so here is the box that comes with all the accessories for the table. Okay, 
So that's just one side that has the table lamp, which is really, really big. Wow. This, yeah, this is really quite big. I didn't expect it to be that big. But I will just get it the, rest of the, the rest of the accessories first. Um, so let's see if I can get it out without having to get scissors. <laughs> uh, okay, so here are all the accessories. Um, of course the lamp that I had just shown. And then it comes with a figurine of a poodle, a pink poodle. And then it comes with the TV guide. It's really, really itty bitty. And then it comes on, um, comes with a, um, a morning journal, which is essentially just a newspaper. And so let's just dive into each one. Okay, so starting off with the lamp. Um, again, I told you guys, it's very, very big. Like I'm really surprised. Um, just merely gonna open it now. So this is the lamp. Um, I really, really, really love the design of it. Um, it's, it's really got that kind of innocence of the old grandma's kind of vibe, which I really like. Um, so here's the light bulb, which you can see in, and it does actually light up, but, um, again, requires the batteries and whatnot. Um, hopefully, yeah, there we are. It, again, requires batteries, um, but I merely just pulled out the little tab that came right there, and, um, right in this little socket. And so I really like this. Um, I think it's really nice and unique. And you just have to press it once and it stays on, which is really helpful for doll houses, um, especially during the nighttime when you kind of don't want to keep your whole room light on. So you can just have the little lamp on. Um, it's got this really, really nice design, as I was saying before, as it is kind of fluttered out and at the very bottom with the, the yellow. Um, and it's got this intricate kind of design at the top of the strings. So that's awesome. Um, and apart from that, I do really like it. The fact that you can switch the batteries easily is a really, really good um, thing. So you don't have to replace it completely. Um, so this is kind of my opinion on that. Um, again, it is light, which is fine. Um, as it is easier to pick up and made out of plastic, of course. Next, we have the paper, and the this is called the Daytona Beach Morning Journal. And it's the title is Vaccine on the Way to Doctors. Um, and it's really quite cool in the sense that it's tiny and it has legitimate articles, so that's really quite cool. Um, and this is, like, just so, so cool to read. Um, I obviously haven't gone through it yet, but I really like how American Girl made this because not only does it focus on, okay, the main article, the main title, but it also includes the weather and other, like, miscellaneous topics. So, it's really cool. So, next is the figurine. Um, it is a poodle that has these 1950s kind of retro cat eye glasses. Um, to be fair, to be very frank, this is not my favorite item um, in the set. This is like my least favorite item in the set, to be honest. Um, just because I don't know if it has any actual relevance to her story, apart from the fact that it looks, it kind of just adds to that, um, overall theme of the 1950s which is kind of her world so I mean apart from that I really don't have much to say about this except that um I don't really see how it connects or I guess it is just merely an accessory 
um, and that I'm not really a huge fan of the design, which is it's kind of pink on the inside and golden on the outside. Um, but it is still cute, and it is kind of still incorporating the 1950s with the sense that poodles were really in, and they love these kind of glasses. So, Lastly is the TV guide. This is my favorite accessory in the set, um, as it is so realistic to an actual TV guide during that time. Um, because inside it has the actual schedules of the shows that were being played. Which if you look at that, I mean, it just, it's, it's mind blowing. Um, not even that, it just talks about the shows. And it talks about uh, kind of the origins of the show and whatnot and what's coming up. And I really do like that because it's obviously put there's so much time that has been put into it uh, which I do really appreciate from American Girl when they go very very much into detail um, and it even says what week it is beginning on which is April 9th 1955 so I really do like this all right so here is a final look at the set as you can tell it is a really really cute set I do not have Marilyn yet I plan on getting her after getting Blair, but um, I think it is a terrific set and it goes quite well with her Soha set. Um, again, I 100% recommend it as it is just such a cool set. It's so unique and intricate and American Girl really took a lot of time with this piece. Um, Again, my favorite products had to be um, the lamp, which I just figured out is automatic as it just turned off, and the TV guide. Least favorite has to be the figurine, but I do, um, like I am starting to see that it does go with the 1950s theme. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Please do let me know if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, leave them down in the uh, comment section below and I'd be more than happy to respond to them. Also, please do let me know um, how my camera quality is and my audio quality. And I do apologize for sounding a bit nervous as this is my first time filming a YouTube video and I want to just make it as great as possible. So please do give me any sort of feedback in regards to the YouTube channel. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching very, very much and have a great one. See you on the next one.